evening. I'm Nancy Grace. I want to thank you for being with us. Breaking news tonight, live D.C. D.C. Massacre gunman Aaron Alexis enters the Navy Yard with a valid ID. Yes, even though he had been in trouble with the law multiple times and even showed signs of clinical depression and schizophrenia, at the government VA hospital, he was still allowed access to the D.C. Navy Yard. Unleash your lawyers. I've got a pretty good idea. Mike Gottlieb, Miami, Renee Rockwell, Atlanta, they are looking down the wrong end of a barrel, Mike Gottlieb, on a big lawsuit by all of these families. And yes, I know the king can do no wrong. I understand the law, but this is grounds for a lawsuit. Yeah, there's absolutely a clear negligence action pending, but I, I, I think there's a systemic failure. You're saying that here's an individual that went to the VA, was diagnosed with a major mental disorder. We haven't heard about any treatment that the government may have given him, yet the government's on notice that he's acting in a peculiar manner. He's got auditory hallucinations. He probably doesn't know right from wrong, doesn't appreciate the consequences of his actions, yet he's passing clearance after clearance after clearance, even being complained about. It's a, there's a clear gross negligence action here, Nancy, absolutely.